When French Freemason Pierre L'Enfant designed the layout of Washington, D.C., he placed occult symbols everywhere. The most impressive of these directly relates to the Bohemian Grove Society. When seen from an aerial view, the U.S. Congress building, surrounding roads, trees, and structures, clearly formed the picture of an owl sitting atop a pyramid. The same owl appears on the National Press Club logo, the Congress building itself, and the upper right-hand corner of every U.S. dollar bill. What does this owl symbolize, and why is it hidden in our architecture and currency? David Icke wrote, The roads within the grounds of the Congress building make the very clear symbol of an owl. You also find that the owl is sitting on a pyramid, the pyramid and all-seeing owl. The collective word for owls is a parliament of owls, which is uncannily appropriate. The same owl symbol can be found hidden on the dollar bill if you know where to look and have a very powerful magnifying glass. I also understand a new pedestrianization scheme around Nelson's Column in Trafalgar Square, London, is going to look like an owl from above. There is a sexual playground for leading American and foreign politicians, mobsters, bankers, businessmen, top entertainers, etc., who are initiates of the Babylonian Brotherhood. It is called Bohemian Grove. Seventy-five miles north of San Francisco in California, near the hamlet of Monte Rio, alongside the Russian River in Sonoma County. I went to the area in 1997 to have a look around, and when I told the hotel receptionist where I was going, she warned me to be very careful, because some people who had been to investigate had never been seen again. Bohemian Grove is a 2,700-acre forest retreat for the elite. Every July since 1873, hundreds, now thousands, of top politicians Bankers, businessmen, and media personalities gather at the Grove for two weeks of events, ranging from the expected, such as meetings, speeches, and lectures, to the very unexpected, like drunken mass orgies and mock human sacrifice rituals affront a 40-foot-tall statue of a Babylonian owl god. Such craziness was often discounted as hearsay by naysayers, that is, until author and filmmaker Alex Jones infiltrated the grove in 2000 and shot clear video footage of the cremation of care ritual in his film Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove. Alex Jones said, At this point, I should digress and go back and say that as we were walking into the grove, we actually came within about 10 yards of the 40-foot stone owl that sits to the north side of the small lake. We were only about 7 yards away from the black altar that sits at the base of the owl, so already at this point, we had proven that the rumors were true. Yes, there is a giant stone owl. Yes, there is an altar. So I was there witnessing something right out of the medieval painter Hieronymus Bosch's vision of hell. Burning metal crosses, priests in red and black robes, with the high priest in a silver robe with a red cape, a burning body screaming in pain, a giant stone great-horned owl, world leaders, bankers, media, and the head of academia engaged in these activities. It was total insanity. Besides the occult ceremonies and sexual promiscuities, policy speeches are regularly given by members and guests as well. They even boast that the Manhattan Project was conceived at Bohemian Grove. Edward Teller, the father of the H-bomb, and Glenn Seaborg, who developed plutonium, were both Grovers. Other past and regular attendees include George Bush Sr. and Jr., Bill Clinton, Ronald Reagan, Richard Nixon, Jimmy Carter, Gerald Ford, Dwight Eisenhower, Lyndon Johnson, Herbert Hoover, Robert and Joseph Kennedy, David Lawrence and Nelson Rockefeller, Dick Cheney, Al Gore, Dan Quayle, Colin Powell, Henry Kissinger, Donald Rumsfeld, Newt Gingrich, Alan Greenspan, David Gergen, George Schultz, William Casey, William F. Buckley, Robert Novak, Ray Kroc, Prince Bandar bin Abdul Aziz, Mikhail Gorbachev, James Woolsey, Earl Warren, Walter Cronkite, William Randolph Hearst, Andrew Knight, Burt Bacharach, Bing Crosby, and Bob Hope, just to scratch the surface. Jordan Maxwell wrote, Now I have to ask you, what are ex-presidents of the United States, such as Jimmy Carter, Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, Ronald Reagan, and George Bush, doing there? 
These are all living presidents, standing there in unison, the whole line of them, in uniforms, looking like KKK members, in front of a great bonfire, worshipping an owl. The last two weeks of July of every year, a secret meeting is held in our country, in Northern California, by the world's most powerful people. Bankers, politicians, industrialists, entertainment luminaries, a huge composite of poissant world figures. This group is directly linked with the European ruling elites, and is commonly known as the Bohemian Society. Our now famous Council on Foreign Relations, the government behind the American government, is represented at the Bohemian Grove, along with members of the Bilderberg Group of Europe. A meeting is held once a year there to decide on a worldwide scale a manipulative agenda concerning your future. A shining example of true democracy carried on in the dark. Obviously, here your vote doesn't count. Appropriately, the owl was chosen as a symbol for this ilk, for it too is at home in the dark. The name Bohemian carries a dictionary definition as a community of persons who adopt manners and mores conspicuously different from those expected or approved of by the majority of society who disregard conventional standards of behavior. No wonder they want no input from you.